welcome to Anime Star Recaps. Do not forget to subscribe and like the video for more. Ayaka Yuhara and Hibiki Sakura are on their way home from Koyo Women's Academy. Ayaka realizes Hibiki has put on weight so she proposes she go on a diet. A week after that, Hibiki visits the Silverman Gym, where she learns that Aikmi Soryuan, a classmate, also wishes to join. They enter one of the training rooms and discover that all of the members are muscular, leading Aikmi to join right away. When one of the trainers, Naruzo Mashio, presents himself to Hibiki, she decides to join. The following day, Mashio orders them to attempt the bench press. Mashio consoles Hibiki when she goes to relax. He suddenly poses, and she observes his buffed-up figure. That night, Aikmi believes it's wonderful to have Hibiki as a training partner. Hibiki is sore from the gym at school, and Ayaka sees that Hibiki is still gaining weight. Mashio afterwards tells Hibiki to try some squats. Aikmi notices Hibiki enjoys eating after training. When Hibiki explains how much she eats per day, Aikmi praises her and reveals her goal for them to grow strong and muscular together. Hibiki weighs herself at the gym and discovers that she has gained weight. When Hibiki seeks Mashio for weight loss advice, Aikmi suggests the lat pull-down machine. They go to the gym's bar after utilizing it, and Aikmi offers Hibiki extra protein. The following day, Aikmi persuades Hibiki to go swimming to get some exercise. Hibiki and Ayaka afterwards watch a movie at Ayaka's house. Just as they are about to watch another movie, Ayaka's sister, Nana, approaches her and requests her to help her and to bring Hibiki with her. Hibiki is surprised to learn that Ayaka's family owns the Glory Gym, a boxing gym. Hibiki notices Ayaka's physique and asks questions about her workout routine when she takes a little break. Ayaka describes some of the workouts she performs. Nana then recommends that Hibiki try out the punching bag. The bag breaks when she punches it. Satomi and Rumika are Koyo Women's Academy teachers, and Satomi believes she has gained some weight. Rumika hands her a flyer urging her to visit the Silverman Gym. When she gets to the gym, she discovers Hibiki and Aikmi are also there. Mashio approaches Satomi and tells her to use the dumbbell. Satomi becomes really nervous during the exercise when Aikmi realizes she has a tan on her belly. Satomi is eventually shown to be a well-known cosplayer. Ayaka, Hibiki, and Aikmi are eating lunch at school. Ayaka discovers that Hibiki and Aikmi are both working out at the same gym. When they talk about their bentos, Aikmi persuades Hibiki to start a new diet. Satomi is cosplaying at an event until she spots Hibiki and Aikmi. They don't notice her since they also see Mashio cosplaying at the event too. As a result, many photographers concentrate on Mashio instead. Later at her home, Satomi is still confused as to who Mashio was cosplaying as and why was he called the Muscle King. Hibiki walks into the Silverman gym and sees Aikmi glancing towards the training room. Mashio informs them that during peak hours, there is an increase of both current and new members working out. Hibiki and Aikmi are instructed to try the chest press by Mashio. When the peak hours comes to an end, Ayaka unexpectedly appears, stating that the Glory Gym is accepting new members and that the Silverman Gym has invited her to teach boxing. When the three wants to work out the next day, Aikmi proposes they go to her place. Hibiki and Ayaka are shocked when they see Aikmi's mansion, where she lives with her sister. Aikmi then seeks out a training manual. Ayaka wants to try a chair exercise from the manual. Later, Hibiki attempts an improved version of the workout, but she accidentally destroys the chairs and has to apologize to Aikmi. The girls decide to spend the rest of their summer vacation at the beach. However, they notice a sign forbidding swimming due to sharks. Ayaka then proposes that they go sprinting. Rumika instructs the students to select an event for sports day. The class chooses to compete in a 400-meter relay. Mashio proposes that the girls exercise their hamstrings by doing leg curls at the gym. The girls are heading to school the next day when Hibiki talks about how sore she is from the workout. The relay will be the last event of sports day, with Hibiki and Aikmi anchoring their respective classes. Hibiki recalls Mashio telling her to attempt the bicycle crunch while she waits for her turn. When it was finally her turn, her classmate dropped the baton. Hibiki picks it up and continues the relay, finishing second to Aikmi. However, Satomi informs her that her class has been disqualified since she illegally scooped up the baton. Mashio presents the girls' raffle tickets at the gym to honor the Silverman Gym's six-month anniversary. They then go to the sauna at the gym. Hibiki makes a wager to see who can stay inside for the longest, which of course she wins. She then wins some t-shirts thanks to the raffle. Hibiki passes by a deal for a home theater system on her route to the Silverman Gym. 
the girls notice a flyer advertising an arm wrestling event at the gym. When Hibiki wants to know about the tournament, Mashio explains the arm wrestling rules. Hibiki soundly beats Ayaka in the first match. Mashio then wins the second match by using his strength to defeat Hibiki. Hibiki discovers that the women's section has just two competitors, a girl Russian called Gina Boyd and herself. The match finished with her easily defeating Gina. Gina switches to Hibiki's school a few days later. When asked about her training, Gina says she largely completed sambo classes, but she also performs arm wrestling and kipping. Gina informs Aikmi after school that she will not be able to go to the gym since she is meeting her foster family. Hibiki realizes Gina is staying with her later that night. Gina reveals at school that she studied anime and Jackie Chan movies to learn the Japanese language and culture. Gina is surprised to see that the gym is shut down for the day after school. Hibiki invites Aikmi, Ayaka, and Gina to her workplace. She confesses that she works at her brother's restaurant after they arrive. Hibiki rants about her gym and food fees when her break is finished. Aikmi then informs her that because her sister is the school's chairman, she may ask the school to pay her gym fees. Satomi is teaching the class the next day when Gina realizes she is the popular cosplayer Yuria Riko. Gina afterwards hangs out with Satomi and recommends they jog to Akihabara. When Satomi questions Gina about her motivation for going, she admits that she wants to start an idol group. Kitaro Dare, the director of the idol audition, complains till the girls arrive. Despite captivating the audience, including a scene in which Satomi performs a deadlift, they do not make it through. Rumika and Yakusha are confused as to why Satomi has been so busy these days as she leaves the teacher's lounge until Rumika notices her Silverman gym card. They then go to the gym to meet Satomi and their classmates. Mashio greets them and tells everyone to try the side bend. Rumika and Yakusha then return home. The second year students are on a school trip in November, going up a mountain. Throughout the hike, Yakusha teaches the appropriate hiking technique. Hibiki, Satomi, and Rumika, on the other hand, end up trailing behind the group. As a consequence, they choose the wrong path, which causes them to panic when they realize they are lost. Satomi spots a tree and demonstrates how to do tree and rope climbing once they have calmed down. Yakusha recognizes they've arrived at the athletic section of the mountain as they climb the tree. Elsewhere, a mysterious man instructs his secretary to arrange for a trip to Japan. When the mysterious man arrives in Japan, he informs his secretary that he is leaving. Meanwhile, Mashio instructs the females at the Silverman Gym to attempt back extensions. Just thereafter, the mysterious man appears, revealing himself to be the famed movie star Harnold. When asked how he knows Harnold, Mashio confesses that Harnold was his instructor while he was in America studying. Harnold informs Mashio that he has recently discovered his location. Harnold invites Mashio to a bodybuilding competition. The girls arrive for the bodybuilding competition the next day, and Harnold takes them to the VIP section. He reveals the competition's rules there. When it becomes Mashio's turn, he strikes a forceful pose that forces the other competitors to admit defeat. Harnold congratulates Mashio on his victory and confesses that the match was a test and then he invites Mashio to compete against him in Las Vegas. Mashio informs him that he is unsure if he will be able to make it because of his job. Harnold's secretary presents himself to everyone at the gym and reveals that he will stay in Japan because Harnold's ordered him to help with Mashio's training. During the holidays, the girls are spending time together. They feel depressed, though, when they learn they do not have boyfriends. Mashio and Satomi fails to cheer them up at the gym. Mashio then informs everyone that the gym will be hosting a Christmas party. He orders them to try a few skull crushers while they are training. The girls are having a good time at the Christmas party when Mashio announces that the raffle contest winner will be awarded two tickets to Tachigi Destinillion. We then find out that Satomi won the raffle contest. However, she is unable to go due to scheduling, and she lends the tickets to Aikmi. When asked, Aikmi says she's going with Mashio. The girls accompany Aikmi and Mashio through Tachigi Destinoland. When Hibiki and Gina meet up with them, Aikmi and Mashio confess that they are participating in a cosplay competition. Meanwhile, a frustrated Satomi stumbles into Rumiko while both of them are dressed in cosplay. Hibiki and Gina are at home on New Year's Eve when Aikmi and Ayaka arrive. Meanwhile, at Satomi's home, Satomi and Rumika are holding a drinking party. The girls decide to visit a shrine while walking around. When they get there, Aikmi says that the temple is dedicated to the muscle god. Ayaka then describes the stair climbing exercise. When they reach the top, they learn that Mashio's family bought the shrine and that he works as a priest during most of holiday season. The girls are hanging out the next day. When they reach the park to perform a street workout, 
Aikmi reads her training manual and decides on an isometrics exercise. Later, Gina suggests that they compete in a hidden talent show. When the girls arrive at the talent show, Kutaro complains. Satomi does a wrestler's bridge. Kutaro is shocked to learn that the talent show was a ratings hit thanks to the females. Kutaro runs into Jason on his way out, who gives him a flyer promoting a vacation arranged by the Silverman Gym. Vashio informs Hibiki and Aikmi at the Silverman Gym that the gym is planning a spring break trip to Nikonashima. He also says that, with the exception of Jason, everyone will be attending. Meanwhile, it is shown that Jason and Kutaro are observing the gym. The group is having a good time in Nikonashima. Vashio then appears, carrying a melon. Vashio explains the shrug workout after deciding to have a melon bash. Following that, the girls compete in the Miss Nikonashima competition. Aikmi performs handstand push-ups during the competition. Mashio takes the time to describe push-ups as she is doing this. Hibiki shows off her punching power when it's her turn. When it is discovered that they are tied for first place, they participate in a bench press competition, which Aikmi wins. Jason and Kutaro are later revealed to be trapped at sea. Hibiki and Aikmi discuss how much they have matured as a result of their training on the beach. Just suddenly, they notice something approaching them. Arnold appears in front of everyone and claims that he saved Jason and Kutaro. Following that, Hibiki weighs herself. She leaves in a really good mood after seeing the results. The last number of your like is who powers you get. Comment who you got. Don't forget to subscribe for more anime recaps.